guys and welcome to another studio vlog. I am still full of cold. I finished my last studio vlog yesterday on Sunday um, and today I have been just working on orders with Emily. Emily's just in the studio here. Hello. <laughs> and I've also done a sticker restock this morning and I'm thinking of offering my stickers to be available in a glassine bag or a plastic bag uh, so that the um, the customer has the choice between a glassine bag which is more sustainable and eco-friendly or the traditional cello bag i'm going to offer that as an option this week to my sticker packs because that way i can kind of reduce the amount of plastic waste that i'm using and uh, shipping out and then the customer gets the choice and hopefully it cuts down on plastic which is another solution but if they still want it to be in a cello sleeve then they can still get it in a cello sleeve. Uh, I'm experimenting with the new studio vlog days which are going to be a Monday and please excuse my scabby nose it's so embarrassing but I'm trying to experiment by f uh, experimenting with the studio vlogs by filming a full week and um, I don't know if that's going to be any good. It makes more sense to film a weekly studio vlog starting on Monday rather than starting on whenever I used to start it like a Friday or something and then I used to upload it on a Tuesday it just it didn't make any sense so yeah I'm just gonna get to work on editing a studio vlog and we've just been singing Disney songs and packaging orders haven't we Em? Oh yeah! Uh, so yeah gonna stick the studio vlog on and I won't record anything because the SD card for the studio vlog is in this camera so I'm going to have to turn you guys off. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, love you. See you in a little bit. Bye. Oh, I'm out of focus. Oh, no I'm not. I've just finished editing my studio vlog and it's currently 6pm and I've been editing for ages and the studio vlog is 37 minutes long. So maybe I'll have too much footage filming Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday. I just don't know. <laughs> there was a lot of footage in this month's uh, studio vlog. Uh, that's basically what I've been doing all day. The first half of the morning I was packaging orders and then now I've just got a load of receipts and bags and stuff. So these are the bags that we use in the post office when we go to the post office and they're just like reusable eco ones and these are my old designs that I used to sell on my, let me just turn the exposure up a little bit these are what I used to sell at conventions and stuff and they're my own pressed ones now I'm thinking of getting this eco tote back in stock because at the minute we use like a white cotton tote uh, but these are just the designs this is I don't give a flying fox and then we kind of just leave the bags with the post office and they keep them in a little pile for us and then we collect them. So I need to put these away. Then we've got a muggle born and proud one. That never really went anywhere apart from conventions. I only sold this at conventions but I'm getting rid of all fan art so won't be selling that anymore. And another muggle born and these are super super handy for taking the post to the post office. So I need to fold them up. We've also got a plastic bag that we we use over and over. So I need to package them up and then I need to also hoover because honestly the floor is a mess and it's freezing cold. That's why I'm in a big knitted cardigan because it's so cold today and I'm wearing big winter boots and everything. Autumn is in full swing so I'm going to sort these receipts out and staple them in the months and I'm going to put these bags away so oh and then I'm going to hoover and then I'm finally going to get to go home because I'm really really hungry and I haven't managed to eat anything today because I've run out of milk from my porridge.
Okay, it's currently 7 p.m. I've just finished hoovering. I finished making the little sticker packs up, so now they should be all restocked. But I'm just looking my ginger and spice looks like the low actually, so I'm probably gonna have to make that this week. And I just want to quickly take you through to the other studio um before I go, just to show you the glassine bags in the bags, because glassine bags in the bags glassine paper bags compared to the cello bags which will be an option i've put it in my planner to do tomorrow to edit the variation on etsy so i'll show you the difference between the two so i'm just in the other office and this is the difference between the two so that's a glassine one you can see here it's kind of like a paper and it's much more eco-friendly than plastic because it's biodegradable and i believe it's compostable too and it's made from like good resources or something i don't know i'm still learning about it but glassine is considerably better than plastic it's basically paper but it's got like this smooth kind of waxy look to it which helps it be a little bit more water resistant i think glassine is traditionally used in kind of like bakery and stuff for food products but i thought this is perfect because it's semi-transparent you can still see the sticker contents and for those of you who want to be a little bit more eco-friendly and to help reduce plastic waste i thought i would give the option in the store now ages ago about a couple of months ago i got these glassine bags and i was going to completely elim <laughs> i was going to completely eliminate cellos but i've decided to leave the option up to the customer but yeah that's the difference there's not much difference the only difference is on the back I have to obviously seal this with a little bit of my washi tape whereas this one comes already pre-sealed I'm sure you can get glassine bags um, that aren't but these are just the ones I found I also really like this noise it makes such a satisfying noise so tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to photograph these two side by side and use them as an example on one of my listings and change them all on the sticker pack so I'll, I'll write glassine and um, sell all and then the option will be available so you can now purchase the sticker packs and either a glassine or a cello sleeve anyway i'm gonna get going because it's 7 p.m and i need my tea so i'll see you tomorrow bright and early all right goodbye guys happy october the first and happy tuesday i'm just in the kitchen and i'm about to make a cup of coffee and i'm gonna do it as like a cozy inktober because i'm gonna fill my inktobers next i'm gonna try and do about four days worth in one go because i'm doing simple illustrations so I'm gonna get like a cozy shot of me like pouring the kettle and stuff and then I think I'm gonna like make a nice Inktober intro like putting down my pens and stuff like that it's like my intro for Inktober <clears throat> I can barely breathe today <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm feeling very autumny I'm in like a really autumny jumper uh, which you might recognize because I used to wear this last year I've had this for ages so yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee and then I'm gonna to get to work on filming the Inktober video. Well, I've just finished filming. Ooh, this looks like weird. I've just finished filming the Inktober and I did seven days. They're really, really simple illustrations, but it actually took me two hours to do. I have no idea why. I think it was the setup of the video and yeah, I just took my time on them, but I've done seven days worth. And like I said, they're really, really simple illustrations, but I think they'll make a cute sticker pack. I'm glad I decided to do a limited colour palette because they work really nice together. And I think as a sticker pack, they're gonna look really, really cute. This is a little sneaky preview. There is some that you might not see until the week after, but yeah, this one is Cozy Witch. And she turned out super cute, what do you think? She looks like she stepped out of a children's book, but yeah quite happy with how these little guys turned out anyway i am completely losing my voice <coughs> at the minute um so sorry about that yeah it sounds crazy i'm going to take photos and some b-roll footage of the final sticker um final inktober designs which i need to do like a nice slow mo shot <coughs> <coughs> and i'll see you in a little bit
chocolate lava cake I'm drawing it because we are doing a challenge on my patreon page which is called the patreon sketch club Marcus here also Marcus also Marcus also Marcus and then here I have some old brushes I sometimes use this for texture like for making textures and stuff I guess that's a sign to go home because it's now 6 p.m. and yeah my phone's just died on my battery and I was just uploading the Inktober. That's so annoying. Anyway, I've just been doing a Patreon uh, calendar that I shared on Patreon. Uh, I watched Sarah Faber, the lovely Sarah Faber, and watched her vlogs while I had my break. And then Danielle and Natalie came in the room and I had like a sit down chat with them. And it was really, really fun. I haven't been in that studio at all today. I went in, I opened it and I turned on my computer and my router. And I was going to go back through there, but I ended up just sitting in here all day. And I've been sat at this desk the whole time. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And, yeah, Mike will be in tomorrow to do orders and stuff. Stuff. <coughs> stuff. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Look how freaking cute the pushing calendar is for October. It's adorable. I just need to write in all my plans and stuff. Uh, for this month, that's what I'm gonna do right now. In to the Walt Disney TV to get me in the mood. I'm so excited! <gasps> oh my gosh! And I'm just planning out. Oh, it's a little bit bright. One second. I'm just planning out my weeks and uh, planning like when my nails get done and stuff. That the sunlight is not the best to show you what I'm kind of doing. And I've put all the Patreon things down in my little cute pusheen calendar. And then I'm just adding the little stickers, some catnip stickers. These are catnip nail stickers that I've kept for myself. Uh, if I want to get my nails done, you can buy them in my Etsy store. But and I'm just going to stick them, stick them, ugh, stick them down. What do you find yourself all oh, wearing all the prime ones? Uh, like <laughs> they look so cute on my calendar. I've also got these little nail polish. Uh, things at the bottom as well like in different colours but I tend to use them for my planner so I'm just going to use this little catnip actually I'm going to use one of the nail ones so the bottom nail one cute I want to stick another sticker on it It's adorable. <laughs> Look how cute it looks. Hello guys and happy Wednesday. I can't even remember if I have actually sat down with you and already talked today, but I'm doing it again now anyway. Um, today I'm basically going to do those glassine cello sticker things I said earlier in the vlog. I need to photograph them and then list them on my store because they've been made for quite some time and they're still not listed and they're sold out. So I need to do that today. I've also got a few other things um, to do. Uh, my planner looks really cute this week with all these stickers on. And then Coconut Tasha sent me these cute um, Magic Kingdom and Disney World stickers and I've like I've been using it as a countdown each week in my planner and I also received these cute uh, pins and stuff off another lovely business uh, which look really really cute so I've been using them in my planner also fan nerd stickers over here some fox and cactus stickers some of my own stickers uh, there's fox and cactus and then there's Gingy there's my YouTube one there's catnip so yeah, my planner looks really, really cute today. Uh, I need to edit the video to Inktober, so I filmed um, a week's worth of Inktobers in one go. I'm doing really, really, really basic illustrations, nothing fancy. But now I'm kind of like jealous because I'm comparing myself to like other people on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I wish I spent loads of time on mine now, but I know it's not sustainable for me. I don't have that amount of time to dedicate on each individual illustration, so. <laughs> Need to stop comparing myself to others because now I think mine is poo poo wee wee compared to everyone else's. How many days are in October? 31, isn't it? Is it 31? It's 30, isn't it? I don't know. 
I've got a plan in front of me. I should totally know this. 31. Yes, Halloween's on the 31st. Oh, I need to create new thank you cards because we sold out. I forgot to tell you, Mike. Um, because we sold out of the thank you cards, we've been sending free postcards from, you know, this through here. Oh, yeah. So, not the unicorn ones, but the shopolic or the flipping amazing. Or, and then you just write, thank you, you the best on the back of them. So, uh, I need to do thank you cards because I didn't realise, but we must have went through like over a thousand already. So, I'm thinking of doing like a wintery themed one, like Eva Spice in her hoodie or like a marshmallow that I've already designed in like hot chocolate uh, so that's what we're going to do today and i also want some new postcards uh, sending off so we better get a move on because it's now 11 and i've just been showing mike how to reply to etsy conversations <laughs> I tried to do an Inktober from Furry Little Peach in Jam, the Jam one, day two, and I did it in inks and I smudged his eyeballs. Now these inks aren't meant to smudge, but I just used the microns, but I mustn't have waited for it to dry in time. Oh, my little jam boy is uh, crying. I've just finished making some thank you cards and I used um, like an, a design that I've done with marshmallow and the coffee cup I'll show you in a second because I'm going to cut it up um, and I've just done a proof just to make sure I like it and just printed it out make sure the writing is readable and things like that before I send it off for print so on the back it just has the usual thank you note and I've just changed it to adapt the colours so that it matches the front and on the front so obviously it'll be double sided like this and on the front it just says being cosy is the best just like you am I right so I think that looks um really cute and then I've just added some more details because the marshmallow and hot chocolate bath didn't have this much like it's got little like shading details here I don't know if you can see or not and I just added like a shadow because it is a uh, part of a sticker pack but I thought it just would make a really cute thank you card and then people can keep them and stuff like that so that was the last thank you card that we did for the summer and it said uh, and it says make every day a good day and on the back it has thank you cards and now people can get this one and i'm thinking every time it runs out i'll do a different yeah a different theme but this is the current one <laughs> Hello guys and happy Thursday. Yesterday we just got to work uh, doing the usual studio things and I jumped on orders with Mike uh, to get things done. I've been on orders quite a lot the last few weeks and I really enjoy it. Uh, today I'm only doing half day. It's currently one o'clock. Oh, it's currently half one, sorry. And um, I'm jumping on a call with Tom from Design Cuts because he couldn't make it on Tuesday when I was meant to uh, have a call with him. So I'm going to jump on that in a bit. And today all I'm going to spend time doing, I've got it in my planner is I am going to cut lots of planner stickers that are sold out in my store and things that have expired so it was the old planner sticker design and now I need to make the new batch I also need to photograph them list them and upload them to my Etsy but I won't get all that done today today the priority is to cut and print all the planner stickers that are sold out so hopefully I'll be able to get that done but I've only got two Cricut machines so we'll just have to See how that gets on it's been a pretty productive week i've managed to get a lot of things that i wanted to get done done i absolutely love it when um, my plans go up plan because <laughs> sometimes i have to adapt and change things out my planner so i'm really happy because this week it feels like i've been like bang 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 getting getting stuff done which is uh, really really good um yeah gonna get to work on cutting lots of planner stickers and i'm probably gonna have a headache by the end of it because those cricket machines are so freaking Wow. Also, thank you to everyone who gave me tips on how to restick cricket mats um, in last week's vlog. Uh, but I actually purchased some new ones, but these are off brand ones and they are called, I don't know if you can see, Knee Kappa or something. And this is the light grip mat 
and I have to admit guys these are so much better than the actual light grip cricket mats they're a lot cheaper and I just ordered these on Amazon um, and yeah that's the name so you should be able to find them if you just type in the same on Amazon and they are so good for paper they're not as sticky as the cricket light grip mats because the cricket light grip mats I always found especially when I first got them that they were too sticky whereas these are absolutely fantastic at least for the paper that I've got definitely recommend them now I'm just gonna chop 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 away go cricket you can do it So I've just finished cutting all these stickers. I launched a pea giggle. Pea? <laughs> I lost the pea. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk anymore. I posted a pin loop giveaway, which I haven't done for a while. Uh, that's just on Instagram. I launched that. I uploaded the wallpaper to Patreon. I'm just shutting down my computer. This is the big wad of planner stickers that I still need to upload. And Dean's ringing me because he's outside. So let's go to this concert. I'm going to switch out my camera to the Canon. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hey, I'm okay, see you soon. Love you. Bye. So are you excited or not? I haven't been to a gig for so long, so yay, better put my seatbelt on. Let's go! I'm just eating up some tea for me and Dean that I made last night. And look what I've done. I <laughs> hit the bowl and it was all like stuck and coagulated together. And it like splashed everywhere, you can see it. It was like all over the place. Just got some nice juicy pasta, but I feel like I need to add to add some tomatoes. I want to add some more tomatoes to this. See, I've got so much in my cupboards right now. I'm going to add another tin of this chunky chopped tomatoes and then we're going to get going. But this is very garlicky. I think we're going to gas people out of the gig, but that's a good thing. Maybe they'll stay away from us and we'll have loads of space. add a little bit of sugar to my tomatoes not the healthiest but it's not the healthiest but so I'm adding a little bit of sugar right now all done yummy I'm all ready I decided I just topped up my makeup and I decided not to wear any eye makeup today just uh, mascara um I've quite been digging the no eyelash look. I normally have eyelashes on all the time and I used to be really self-conscious about it but the older I'm getting the more I'm learning to appreciate my natural eyes. I've just got really small eyelashes and really really small eyes so I'm always used to having a lot of heavy makeup on especially my eyes. I used to wear big long lashes but I've kind of just been yeah enjoying it and you guys always compliment me which is really really nice saying that it looks okay so now I'm all dressed up and I got changed and everything I would just need the tickets where are they oh they're over here and then we're ready to go Oh my gosh, so me and Dean have parked in the shopping centre car park and we thought we'll just get the lifts to come down and um, to leave onto the main road. Anyway, the 
whole shopping centre is shut, you can't get out of. And we were like, oh god. And then we I we'll try to get out. We just walked into another thing, you know. I know she had, we were we were literally walking around and we were like, oh, this is locked. Yeah. We're just trying to get to the end by Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. She's just, literally while we've just parked, she has just locked up and there's two lifts. So if she came down one lift, oh it's not focusing, if she came down one lift and we, no, if we went down one lift and she came up one lift, it was all locked from where we just got the lift down, if that makes sense, into the shopping centre. So we would have been locked in. Thank God we've seen a cleaner. these raspberry and white chocolate shoes are. Shoe buns. Yummy. I know. I want everything. What is it? Pecan and caramel tart. Oh my gosh. Why do they look so perfect from here? Mm, look at these. We, we have to try these. We always get a start. Oh. <laughs> Yummy! Are you happy, Emily? Are you in your element? I've been waiting for this all week. <laughs> Yum. I also really like the way they have like handmade butter and stuff here. It's got like weird lumpy things. This is butter, right? Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Yum. Yum. <laughs> that was so creepy. <laughs> The reason I love Craig's is because they make this handmade sour uh, sourdough bread. Thank you. Uh, they make this um, handmade sourdough bread, and it is literally the crunchiest, most deliciousest bread ever. It's really like it's really like how do you explain it? Like chewy. It's really thick and chewy. Yeah, it's really thick. It's not really chewy like doughy. I think it's really hard, but a lot of people might not like that to be honest. But I like it like that. Yeah. So we've just met the most amazing viewer called Diana. She was so lovely, wasn't she? she was and we so nice. sat and had a coffee, and then she brought me this gift, which I thought I would unbox in front of you guys. But oh my gosh, this bag's literally perfect. <laughs> Look at this. She's a writer, isn't she? So. Ooh. We're going to unbox it and I think she mentioned it was her books. Uh, so let's have a look inside. Oh look how nicely it's wrapped. Can you see? I am biodegradable. Oh look. So she does a lot of like fantasy stickers and stuff. Oh trick or treat for Halloween though. Oh, they're so cute! Oh, 
it's so cool that she's a like a writer and like she's from like the local area oh the book pot is really nice i love books <gasps> look at these some more amazing she's done so much work what the heck They're, like three like six full novel novels Hello. so thank you so much diana oh my gosh so i think she's left a business card so if you guys want to check her out she's trying to get 200 followers on instagram so if we can get her up to that that would be amazing and you can find her here lovely she was such a lovely person so yay thank you so so much we also have the thank you cards that have arrived today so um i think we'll open them emily do you mind passing me that thank you Dorothy. Yeah. You want this twine to reuse? It's kind of cool. I know, right? I feel like if you wrapped it around lights or something, it'd be really quite cool. I know, eh? Hey? Oh. <gasps> I panicked then. I thought I ordered the wrong <laughs> thing. I always do that. But I forgot I ordered some new postcards. So I've got the Expecto Patronut. So I'll show you them. I've got the make every day a good day as a postcard, so I'll show you them. I need um, like a scalpel. What? Who was that? Huh? Oh, it did. Well, it ain't. <laughs> did he fuck his head around? <laughs> do you want to use that for pack yeah. orders or not? Yeah, I could do. I need more boxes for the men. Okay, let's have a look what these. Cards look like. They turned out okay. Oh, they look really cute. So I ordered them on the hundred percent recycled stock again. Oh, oh yeah, they look really really cute. So that's the front, and it says being cozy is the best, just like you are, my right? And then on the back it just says the thank you. It just looks like my proof. It's really like a smooth recycled stock and I like the texture that this, I don't know if you can see it close on the camera, but I like the texture that this uh, paper gives. So that's the new thank you cards. If you order this winter until these are on, there's only, this is the stack of thank you cards that we've got. Um, so if you order, you will receive one of these in your order. So you can pin that to your wall, you can do whatever you like with it and you'll get one of them really cute and one is the old thank you cards that i've made into a postcard and uh, what used to be oh, i can open this what used to be my old thank you card so i made them into a postcard so that's the front and then that's the new postcard back what do you think look at this little stump guy and then this is the next um postcard so it's expect a patronut and it's marshmallow and it's kind of like satire and then that's the back of this postcard so that's in the postcard print you'll be able to get very soon so what do you think of these postcards <gasps> they're really cute so that's the expecto patrono is it the oh yeah it is do you like it yeah i really like it i love the purple color it looks really cute doesn't that's it and then cool. we've got this make it every day that's day familiar one. Yeah, I like the new backs. They're really nice, nice and simple. Yeah. And then we've got one more, which is just the being cozy is the best one. Mm. So, so I think I'm going to end the studio vlog here, guys. It's been a really, really long one, and I think filming Monday to Friday might be a little bit too long in terms of content. Let me know what you think. I did do a poll on Instagram and YouTube about the uh, studio vlog length. So if you've made it till the end, write baked beans in the comments and i know you've made it to the end let me know also what you think to longer studio vlogs what's the ideal vlog time for you because i know i might have to cut down my content by quite a lot um because my vlogs have been getting longer and longer and longer and i think filming monday to friday it's because i'm trying to film every day um i hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you so so much for watching and i will see you next week and see you all in a little bit thank you so much for being here and yeah i love you so so much all right then i love you so much